What up, what up? Winbush here, and today I wanted to share this quick tip with you about lighting in Cinema 4D. So I'm just gonna set up a simple scene here to get started. So I have a floor, and I'm gonna put in a mannequin. And let me zoom this out a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna add a camera to my scene, and I'm gonna activate it. So this is the angle that I'm gonna be looking at. Let's zoom in here, I guess around there. And then I'm going to make this in the quads and I'm just going to pull this down because I just want to look at the two viewports. I want my perspective and I want my top. And from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to spotlight and I'm going to add a spotlight and I'm going to drag this up and just move this over a little bit. And so what I'm going to do in my perspective, I'm going to leave this as my camera view. And over here in my top view, I'm going to actually look through my light as if it's a camera to light my scene. So if I come over to cameras and then go down to use camera and then set active camera as or set active object as camera. Now, if I'm looking in this viewport right here, I'm actually looking through my light. So if I look at my mannequin here, you'll see in real time or not in real time, but you have to wait until you click off of it. But you'll see in my left viewport here that the light actually moved. And so let me rotate around my mannequin and let me bring this over to the back. And so right now it looks like we're looking through a camera, but we're actually looking through our light to light our scene. And if you look here on the left hand side, you can actually see our light is moving. So if I zoom this out a little bit, you can see the lights right here. I'm going to go back into my other viewport where my light is being used as a camera. And I'm going to rotate this around and boom, you can see that we're actually lighting our scene, looking through our light. And this is really helpful. Like if you've ever been like on a real set, you know, you always have to manually place your lights everywhere. And then you're kind of looking as you're setting up your lights. And this is kind of replicating the same thing. So I use this, especially when I'm backlighting, just kind of move this around your object and you come up with the cool backlight right here. So. Hopefully this quick tip helped you guys out. As always, keep creating. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Take care.